Hi guys, welcome to Adam McCollar TV. Um, Adam, so Jose Mourinho has been unveiled before the press and had his first press conference as Manchester United manager and it was very, very good indeed. It has got me very excited for the season ahead and got me a little bit more confident in the man himself. Of course, words mean nothing and he has to put that in action for Manchester United over the next couple of years, but feeling very, very excited. As you'd expect, he answered questions on everything from him taking the job, Ryan Giggs, Wayne Rooney, um, his youth policy and all that. So we'll go through everything now, get a few quotes up on the screen and I'll talk about how they made me feel. As expected, you couldn't get a Jose Mourinho press conference without a little dig at Arsene Wenger. And here he says that I've got nothing to prove. I'm at Manchester United, yes. It didn't go well for me at Chelsea in the last time around, but I've won the league recently. I'm not done yet, and I've got nothing to prove. Some managers go 10 years without winning it. Obviously, we meant there, wasn't it? Now, I like this because despite the fact he had a bad time out at Chelsea, it obviously hasn't affected his confidence, which you'd expect from the South titled special one, eh? He also aimed a little dig at Louis van Gaal as well, and he said, I've never won to hide behind words or philosophies. When he was asked about his youth policy as well, he almost reached for a piece of paper. It was Louis van Gaal esque up against Big Sam. And um, he was pissed off that journalists had questioned his youth, but he was expected for it. He was ready for it. He'd obviously heard it. I've been one of those that have said, I'm not sure about his youth policy. And he pulled out and he said, look, 49 players I've given their chances to. And I've never had to really play youth because I've always had signings that have been in the team playing well. I've never had many injuries. I've not had to go there, but I have I have given players that are good enough their chance. And here's a list of the 49. Do you want to read it? None of the journalists read it. I, I think they took his word for that one. Now with the likes of Timothy Fosu Mensa, Andreas Pereira, and Nanyanazai, etc. at the club. Axel Twanzebe as well, I think he could really like. It's great to hear something like that because that means these players will get their chance. All they have to do is work hard for it. Although, I'm a little bit sceptical as well because you remember at Chelsea, he said the same things when he went there the second time. I want to give youth a chance. Granted, he wasn't there for a very long time, so we never really got a chance to implement that. But he has said it before and not done it. It's, not, it's very different to Chelsea though. Um, I think he has all the say in what goes here. His transfers, his f formations, his tactics, everything. He'll have no influence from those above him. Um, and I'd like to think he'd have a much more United dressing room as well. Excuse the pun. For you guys that want signings though, he did say there was signings on the way. Um, there was a funny point where he said we've got three signings done and then his press officer was like, no, 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 it's two. And he was like, yeah, well, it's three which is Mkhitaryan, because we know that one's pending a medical signing contract, but Dortmund have announced it. He said he wants a fourth after that. Could that be Pogba, Matuidi? It could be obviously a midfielder that he wants. And then he said he's willing to give everybody an opportunity. So these rumours of a matter and the like could be bullshit. It could be true, but it could be bullshit. He may be giving a chance to all the current team to, pr to prove themselves. He said, I want four players in that aren't squad players. They're specialists in what they do. So we'll bring them in and then we'll let everyone prove themselves. The window's still going to be open. We won't have to be scrambling around on the last day. And it got me feeling very confident that business is going to be done correctly. We've seen in the past, whether it's Ed Woodward, the manager, Louis van Gaal, David Moyes, whatever, transfers haven't got done. And I've been impressed with the way he's come in, done the business. Also, he was keen to reiterate that Ryan Giggs did not get forced out by him. He said... Ryan Giggs wanted a manager's job. Manchester United wanted me to be their manager. I was willing to have Giggs on my staff, as with the club. But Giggs wants to be a manager, so he had to go. And I think that's fair enough. He wished him luck, said he could come back any time if he wanted to. Um, but yeah, that, he's got his assistant. So I'm sure if Giggs he wanted to be an assistant or a coach, and Josie never had an assistant, he'd have been that. But he's not. he needs to go on his own now, stand on his own two feet and get the job done as a manager. Who knows, he could be back. But it was nice that Jose set the record straight, didn't let any lingering doubts linger. And yeah, nice to see. 
Now, a very interesting thing to come out of this was that Rooney would not be playing in central midfield for Jose Mourinho. He said, I don't see him as a six or an eight. I don't want him 50 yards away from the goal. He's a number nine or he's a number 10. That's interesting because Wayne Rooney then, if he comes in as a striker, his fourth choice, right? Fourth, his fourth in the pecking order, at least in my opinion, behind Zlatan, Marshall, Rashford. And rightly so, he'd be fourth choice. Um... But then with Wayne Rooney, will he be expecting to start every week? Like, he's five goals away from Sir Bobby Charlton's record. I get the feeling if he had already got that record, he may have left. But if Wayne Rooney can, ex it's like I said in that full 90 video before, if Wayne Rooney can accept he's just a squad player now, then I think he'll have a role to play at the club this season and he'll get his record. But it's a very big season for Wayne Rooney because the pressure's obviously on now. The only positive is that whenever Wayne Rooney's been given a challenge or given an objective or he's got something to prove he usually does it but he won't be in midfield very interesting and last but not least he spoke on his friendship with Sir Alex Ferguson and how they'd be getting to spend more time and drink more wine together now that they're at the same club together Fergie's away from Old Trafford at the moment but I'm sure when he comes back that will happen and it just got me thinking like obviously you hope Fergie doesn't influence things but imagine having the experience and the knowledge to draw on from Jose Mourinho and Sir Alex Ferguson, who are without doubt the best managers to have managed in the Premier League and arguably in Europe. Crazy. On that positive note, I'll leave you with that. Guys, hit me up in the comments below for your favourite part of the press conference. If you were impressed with Jose, not impressed, what do you like, what do you not like, who will be that fourth signing? Of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like as well. And I'll see you later.